Hi, it's me, Phil. In this small tutorial, I want to show you what assembly definitions are and how they can help you speed up your Unity project while reducing the compile time. Okay, let's go into this project. Okay, first of all, what is an assembly definition? I can show you in the script editor. We go to assets, open CSAR project. This is our script editor. I'm using JetBrains Rider, which is awesome. I can really recommend. I'm not sponsored whatsoever. If we click, click here on Unity and we check on solution, you can see that we are having my project and assembly C -sharp assembly. This is standard done by Unity. So that means my project, the standard default project is containing one assembly and it's called C -sharp, assembly C -sharp. Why should we use assembly definitions? First of all, it should speed up our compile time because if we do here some changes, it uh, doesn't matter, tests this or whatsoever we are typing here. If we go back to Unity, it will compile the whole solution. So how can you block that a little bit by adding for me, in my case, I've created a folder under my assets, my awesome project. Under that, scene scripts, under scripts, core, and then all the core scripts that are needed for this project. If I create here by right clicking, create an assembly definition, and standardly we call it my awesome project dot core, enter. Unity will compile this and you will see that we have now in Unity, we have awesomeproject.core assembly. So this means this is now under the myawesomeproject.core assembly. If we create now, if we download an asset pack from Unity or, or, or from the asset store or something else, and we're gonna create here under my awesome project, a folder with uh some other data and if we create here a csr script with a third party script and unity compiles this you will see that we now have two assemblies an assembly csr and my awesome project.core this means if we change something here under my controllers, which is under the my awesome pro project dot core assembly, if we change here, uh, if we add here some attributes, private uh, int my int, if we add this here and we go back to Unity, Unity will only compile that one script or that one assembly or only the assembly where the changes has happened. There is a speed change. There is the performance wins if you're adding an assembly definition to your project. Because if your project is growing and growing and growing, you will have like 30, 50 scripts. And if you can block them in one assembly, you can work in that assembly and only that part will be compiled. So that's a huge win. I've seen it before. I had uh, another project and my compile time after some time was like two minutes. And it's crazy. If you want to make a little change, two minutes compile time will add up, add up, add up. It will be one hour, two hours altogether in a day. And yeah, you better go running outside for two hours instead of uh, waiting for compile time. Okay, so that's the first thing. Now, of course, if you are using assembly definitions, like my awesome project.core is here now. And if I'm in my controllers and I want to use, for example, use cases, private TMP. Yeah. Okay. That's the first problem already. Because we are in the awesome project.core assembly, we don't have a connection anymore with another assembly, with the Unity assembly. And or with tmp.txt or um, whatsoever. So what we need to do is 
we need to reference that in our assembly definition. So what you want to do is you go to my awesome assembly definition and assembly definition reference. So here you need to plug in your reference. So it's only one direction. You can't go back to the other ref reference. Otherwise you have a loop, you will have an error. But so I want to reference the TMP text. So if you see here, Unity Text Mesh Pro, assembly definition asset, packages Unity Text Mesh Pro scripts runtime. That's the assembly definition that I need, the reference that I need to hook up the Text Mesh Pro. Enter, and then you have another switches. Where do you want to use this assembly definition reference? on any platform or on Android, Editor, Embedded Core, Scarlet, iOS. So mostly I'm using it for all platforms, but what you can do is you can say, okay, any platforms or not for Switch or not for PS5 and not for PS4. Okay, so then you click apply. Or what you can do is you can say, okay, I want to include all these, but not the PS5, the PS4, and not the switch and then apply. Okay. So I use now this for any platform. Apply back to the editor. And now you will see if I add here now the TMP private P text, my pro text, and you will see it's gonna work. Oh my God, I missed typing. Okay, awesome. So you see, if you want to reference now something else from another assembly, you need to reference it in the assembly definition and you need to hook it up in the assembly definition reference. Now, a big fault that I made also is overusing assembly definitions. It's so easy to start using assembly definitions in every folder that you create under scripts, then you can create like folder for fighting, or damage and then start creating assembly definitions on them also don't do that that's a mistake that i've made and probably somebody else also don't overdo it i recommend now from experience is to use like one assembly definition at the core at your scripts to split up your assembly definition from the external packages that you're using or some editor script or whatsoever. So split them up. So you have your main application and all the rest. The only thing what you need to do is if you want to reference something in your project, you need to hook, you need to hook it up in your uh, reference, in your assembly definition. So don't start using assembly definitions in every folder that you create with specific scripts you can you can but it will be so damn difficult to reference them and you will have a uh, loop so because you want to reference something and then you need something else from the other script so you need to hook it back up to the other script and that is not allowed in assembly definitions so stay away from uh, overusing assembly definitions i hope this video helps you if you have more questions i'm live streaming on twitch Give a like and subscribe to the channel for more uh, Unity stuff. Okay, bye-bye guys, bye-bye.